Hey, how are you doing guys? I'm Kibi Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. Today, I'm going to prepare a quick and easy Cantonese style stir fry dish which is called shrimp and broccoli stir fry. It is pretty straightforward because there are only two major ingredients, shrimp and broccoli. And the stir fry sauce and that I'm going to use is a stir fry sauce that you can also use for many other standard Cantonese style stir fry dishes. Let's get into the details right away. Let's start with the shrimp. These are the medium sized shrimp that I have today. I already removed the head, the legs and the shell and leave the tail on for better presentation. Now let's remove the intestinal tract at the center by pulling it out. Alternatively, you can make a cut at the back of the shrimp and then remove it either by your finger or use a um, toothpick to help to remove it. Just pull it out. Yes. To me, I prefer to cut the shrimp at the back. Not only it is easy to remove the, in the intestinal tract, but it is also for better presentation. After that, clean it with water and then put it on a wire mesh strainer to remove the excess water. Since I want to fry the shrimp, I, I do not want it to splatter too much. Therefore, I put it on a paper towel to remove as much water as possible. Season the stream with some salt, white pepper, and a little bit of cooking oil. Mix it well and then set it aside. Get a head of broccoli, separate the stem from the florets. And if they are too big, cut them into smaller florets. And there's one more item we need to cut and chop, that's the garlic. Just rough chop the garlic to saute the shrimp and the broccoli. That's all the key ingredients that we need. Now let's move on to, to constitute the stir fry sauce, like soy sauce, sesame oil, oyster sauce, some pepper, just a little bit of salt, add some water, and then combine all the ingredients. We have finished the preparation. So now let's move on to cook the broccoli and the shrimp. Bring a pot of water to a boil and then plunge the broccoli in the hot water for about two minutes. For cooking broccoli, there are two methods you can use. The first method is to stir fry the broccoli straight away until it's tender. The second method is like what I'm doing now, boiling a pot of water, place the broccoli inside the water and blanch them until crisp and tender. Now this method offers the advantage of pre-cooking the broccoli if you intend to make a large batch of stream and broccoli stir fry and serve it at a later stage. Because after blanching, you can remove the broccoli from the boiling water and then you transfer the florets of the broccoli to a pot of cold water to stop cooking, drain and set aside for later use. You can choose either one of these methods to cook the broccoli. Both methods are equally good. Let's cook the shrimp. Heat some oil in a wok or pan. Then put the shrimp into the wok single layer.
let it pan fry one side for a while. Then flip over to fry the other side. When the stream has turned color on both sides and have some slight char mark, remove it and leave the remaining oil in the wok. Now saute the garlic with the remaining oil. When the garlic turns aromatic, add the broccoli. And then the stir fry sauce that we have prepared. And now thicken the sauce with some cornstarch slurry, which is made with two teaspoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of cold water. I'll just add enough to thicken the gravy. I'm not going to use all of them. And quickly return the cooked shrimp. Finally, add a splash of Shaoxing wine. And now you have the shrimp and the broccoli stir fry ready. A stir fry dish prepared with classic Cantonese style cooking method. That's how to make simple broccoli and shrimp stir-fry candy this time and I hope you will love it. And I will include a recipe in the description below the video. Please subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.